those stars in our eyes. I know, that's part of the holiday season, but hopefully all year long. And we have a new reason to have stars in our eyes, a planetarium. Eric Edelman, director of the brand new Jim and Linda Lee Planetarium at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Amazing. It's so exciting, so exciting. We finally have a planetarium and around here. And it's rare. Oh yes, uh, particularly around here. This is the only one uh, north of Phoenix. This is the Northern Arizona Planetarium. And Amazing. So what exactly is a planetarium, yeah. in case we don't understand it quite? Right, for anybody who hasn't been to a planetarium, Maybe, uh, have you ever had the experience of just maybe sitting in a lawn chair and sort of looking up at the night sky, maybe seeing a meteor shower, something like that? Yeah. Uh, we, we want to try and replicate that. So we have these seats. We, we hope you think they're comfortable. And we look up, and there's this giant dome above our heads. And then when the show starts, we get just completely surrounded by darkness, and the stars come on. The universe comes wow, on. Yeah. We see the Milky Way stretching up above our heads. Uh, we get to see the stars, but we also get to fly to those stars. We get to fly to the planets and the moons. We get to explore the whole universe. So it's it's a place, but it's also a spaceship that we Sounds can Sounds like La La Land to me. <laughs> you know, just a little bit like the movie. Remember they were dancing in a planetarium? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and So we can do that, maybe? No? Maybe we can dance. Oh, yes, when the lights are on. That would be lovely. You know, well, we... that is, that's phenomenal. So um, how, how are you an astronomer, or how did you get involved with this planetarium? Oh, so there's this age-old debate in planetariums, as it were, uh, where people wonder, do you teach an astronomer how to tell a story, or do you teach a storyteller astronomy? <laughs> <laughs> and so for me, I was the storyteller at first, and then I, I started reading into astronomy, and I was like, this is the story I want to tell. And so in, uh, in college, I studied astronomy, and uh, then I went into different planetariums, wow. started telling those stories, and, and now I'm here, wow. and I'm so excited to talk with the Prescott area about Biggest what the Biggest stories is about. in the universe, right? Exactly. And so when, when we are there, you know, relaxing, looking at all the stars, you're telling us about these. Oh, yeah. So okay. what's going on in terms of the science, in terms of the stories, the mythology, how we as humans relate to these sorts oh, of objects. It's going to so be so cool. fun. <laughs> okay, now we have not been into this. We haven't seen this yet, but coming up in January, tell us what's happening then because the public is going to be able to go, go there. Oh, yes. January 19th, January 20th, public debut of the Jim and Linda Lee <laughs> Planetarium. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be showing pr the Prescott Winter Night Sky. So it's a, a show that we've made personally for this sky, this time of year, this winter. And so we're going to be seeing what's above our heads right now? What, are the, what planets are up there? Uh, what stars are up there? And sort of giving a little bit of context for that, doing a little bit of time travel, but I won't spoil it too much. Oh, <laughs> oh now you got me going here. <laughs> and uh, really getting a context for our place before using that as a springboard to jump into different topics and stories. This is just the start. We'll be doing a whole lot of stuff. Like what? What else will be at the Planetarium besides these amazing stories I already want to hear? So January's, uh, the Prescott Winter Night Sky is the first one, and that's actually going to be a seasonal series. Every season we'll have a when Spring Night Sky change. and things oh, like that. Cool. And every month, uh, starting January, February, March, April, May, we're going to have a new show that we're going to debut each month. So people can see the wow. original shows. We're going to have re-showings of that if you didn't get to see it the first time. And then also every new month, we're going to have something exciting and different. For example, February is going to be Romance Among the Stars. We're going to talk yes. about how we relate emotionally to this gorgeous, wonderful universe. It might be cold and dark in a lot of places, but it has its spots of warf warmth and frenzy. So No, it's true. It's always, you know, like if you love somebody, you name um, a star after yeah. them or something. Right, or exactly. You, you know, you court under the moon. I mean, the, the sky does have some kind of very romantic pull for us as human beings. Oh, exactly. We want to touch on that. The, you oh, know, there's cool. so many songs, Fly Me to the Moon, things <laughs> like that. It, uh, it inspires inspires people in a lot of ways, so we're going to be trying to bring that to life in some great ways in Valentine's. February. So people, where do people find out about what's happening at the planetarium, and where do they find it, and what are your hours, and all that kind of stuff? Oh, right. So we, we've yeah. just uh, launched our website very recently, our social media, all that stuff. Uh, so you can find us on Facebook and, and Twitter at JLL Planetarium. If there's ever going to be a new showing, we'll announce it there. We'll give all the news, all that stuff. Uh, and so that's also the place on our website. Uh, you can find tickets uh, for that, too. Uh, so w we want to make sure that 
the tickets are free. We just want to make sure people can get a seat. So if we oh, have a God, show, we sure. want to make sure that 500 people don't show up and 400 of them are disappointed, as it were. So we have tickets people can get uh, and that just reserves their seat totally free. And uh, okay. so, yeah, they can get tickets there on social media. We, Our uh, kids are going to love this, too. We think? hope so. Oh, yes. Uh, so we, we've already uh, uh, brought a couple school groups in. One of the things that we really want to do is, alongside these public shows and being a, a resource for the Prescott area, we also want to be a resource for K through 12. STEM outreach, and so that's a big program that we're trying to bring in oh, sure. uh, kids from all over the place, uh, give them tools to help them explore their knowledge in a way that's that's on a gigantic dome. A it's very visual. Learn. People always learn better. Everybody learn with visual understanding of what that actually means. Oh, right. And this right. sounds kind of magic to me. <laughs> I mean, really. I would agree with you, but maybe I'm a little biased. Do you biased. play music with this too? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> we do. And wait, I, wait. Star Wars? No. Oh, Star Wars. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not at this point, at least. Uh, some of our, our students have been using the planetarium so far, and, and they actually had a Harry Potter movie night earlier on. And oh, so no kidding. We do get a little bit of magic in the planetarium at this point. Oh, I think that is so neat. So how about uh, some fun tidbits about space that we might not know, Eric? Oh, right. Okay. So, so uh, one thing I love to talk about is, is space as gumballs, as it were. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> we have our planet Earth, uh, sort of similar to a gumball in shape, just maybe a little bit larger, uh, about 7,900 miles from one side to the other. So that's one of our planets. But then it's not really the biggest planet in our solar system. Oh, what? We are not the big cheese in the universe. We oh, are not shucks. the big cheese. We have a gassy <laughs> giant out there, Jupiter. Jupiter is humongous. So if you emptied out Jupiter, you just had it as a hollow shell, and you just dropped Earth in there like gumballs, you could fit about a 1,000 Earths no. inside Jupiter. Because Earth's pretty big. Earth's pretty big. Now, to us. But it's all relative. <laughs> Jupiter is humongous. And it's still relative alongside that because we have a sun in the center of our solar system. And our sun is huge. So if you wanted to drop, oh. if you hollowed out the sun and you wanted to drop Jupiter in yeah. as gumballs, you could fit about a thousand Jupiters inside the sun or a million Earths inside the wow. sun. Wow, that is, uh, I think that's the, the awesome thing about this universe we live in. It's, it's a little scary and a little amazing, the fact that it's so huge. Oh, yeah. You know, when, when we see a star, it's, it's been 50,000 years getting to us, that light. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, we're going to find out all kinds of wonderful things. Eric Edelman, the director of Jim and Lee, that Jim and Linda Lee Planetarium, and it'll be open mid-January, right there at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. I'm probably going to be one of your first seats. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, see you there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Eric, how exciting. Oh, thank you for having me on. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't even really know what a planetarium was. Actually, I thought I had a telescope. Okay.